Hello YouTube, it's DTA Show, Resident Evil 2 Let's Play, part 17. In the last part, we killed the crocodile, and in this part, we are now going to fight the claw that comes through the roof. I think it's... That is the official name. It is the claw that comes through the roof. <laughs> I think it's William Birkin's art. Ow, you... This isn't a very tough boss. Five, six shells should do the trick. And plus, uh, Ada shoots it as well. I don't think Ada can actually kill it. Well, maybe not, but she hurts it. You can tell where it's coming because a small speck of dust falls from the roof. Well, and then you just move out of the way, aim and shoot, and it buggers off. You know I mean? Right, I only took three shells. Not very tough. It's. That's not hardly a boss, really, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's that one. Done. Yeah, I don't think you can even die from it. Unless you're really stupid, you could probably, it's, it's almost certain you won't die from it. Right, over here, YouTube, if you, um... Reload. Like this, um, gun, you can pick up a small key which lets you get the upgradable magnum. Hmm. Um, which is sort of... Powerful, to say the least. Sort of powerful. It's almost godlike. Uh, now, if you use your lighter on this little device, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a mortar or some some kind of flare gun. But use it. Launch a flare. This gets you um, key to the lock so you can get the magnum. It just it just lets a little speck light up and you can see where the where the, the key is. is. Hmm. Can you actually pick it up without that? I don't think you can. No. Weapon box key. That's it. It's optional. All it, all it is is a key for a locker later on with uh, loads of weapons in it. Ammo and stuff. Actually, it's, oh, it's for the upgradable ma it's for the upgraded magnum. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure though? Yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought it was just a sort of ammo cache. I, I'm sure it's the um, upgradable magnum. Take a look for it. Alright, over here. There are a lot of zombies, so switch your hangar to auto. Oh. Yeah, and watch out for the little sneaks that like to sneak up. To the back. And now in Claire's story, at this point, this zombie that's on the floor, you were... Uh, oh, shotgun parts. Oh, sweet. I never found that before. One second. <laughs> sweet. Now you can now carry seven shots in your shotgun, and it's more powerful. It's actually the shotgun from Resident Evil 1. No, oh, you just had the stock to it, that's all. In Claire's story, at, the, at that same point, there's the... Uh, the spark inf shot. The infamous spark shot. you got to be careful, because it, uh, it takes up two of your item spaces. Yeah. It's powerful, it'll kill kill a zombie in one hit. Probably kill a liquor in about two. If you fight a super liquor, maybe three or four. Do you get super liquors in this? Yeah, they're... Uh, later on. Very late on in the game, but there are super liquors in this game. Oh. That's probably not their official name, but I, I always call them super liquors because they have longer claws and they're a lot more ferocious. I don't think there's any difference between them, although they were pretty uniform throughout the entire, throughout the entire game. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, as you notice, Ada will wait a very long time before she has to decides to shoot something. Yeah, she's not very good at, at looking after us. Now there's some herbs, if I can get to them. <laughs> there. I think I'm going to use one of these now, because I'm... Hey, that's them dead. Oh, you're oh, still, still, still fine! fine. <laughs> Don't know how I'm still fine, but are you, sure, are you sure this is normal mode? I thought. Yeah, it's normal mode. I've only died once so far. Oh, that that was because you got launched out by a liquor. No. Yeah. That can be a one-hit kill. I'm surprised you survived actually. Well, you didn't. I know, but have we got another boss coming up soon? Have you? Yeah, I think we have. We did a lot of bosses in this one session, aren't we, Adam? <laughs> oh well. Incriven. 
There's actually a health pack, health spray in that uh, yeah. cabinet behind Although you. Although Resident Evil 2 is a very short game. It's, it's only like three hours long. Four, uh, two and a half hours, I think, is the... Uh, two and a half hours is the time that you, if you beat it in, you, without using special weapons, you, you, get, you get the S rank. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you do that myself, but uh, I'm sure someone's done it. I think I've seen somebody actually beat the game in an hour and a half, but... Stuff like that. Yeah. Me and Adam won't be going for um, any special times in the, while we're playing this game for the LP. Just we, getting to the end is good enough for me. I don't give a toss about the time or ranking or anything like that. Yeah. Although, if one of us managed to get a better time than the other one... <laughs> we will gloat. I beat you out of yours! <laughs> yes, I'd just like to remind you, uh, Dark Side Chronicles, like half an hour ago. Right, 16 headshots from me to your, what was it, two? <laughs> My um, rail shooting is a little bit rusty. I haven't played a rail shooter in a while. Well, that's, why I <laughs> well, that's why I played was um, House of the Dead Overkill. Which and, I, um, I only helped you with the last boss with, though, didn't I? Yeah. We had, we had these fucking. I don't know what, what they were, these sort of super infinite ammo. Gatling energy gun. power Gatling gun things. I don't know what the hell they are. I, I'm, I'm not taking this um, key with me. No, you shouldn't. Need. I, I won't need it yet, but I'm taking the shotgun and the um, hand with definitely. Because we do have a boss to fight now. You saved it? Yes. Oh, good. Um, I think I think there's some ammo in this uh, in this area, just hiding in a corner somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, cause... Right back there. Uh, if you recognise this place, YouTube, if you play Resident Evil Zero, it's the exact same laboratory, but in Zero you explore different parts of this laboratory. Map. Hmm. I think it that's a lot of slightly game. familiar. Yeah. Looks somewhat familiar. Yeah, the, the key for this thing is inside the train. That's it, Aiden. Aiden is stuck <laughs> Must run through solid objects. Because my AI is shite. Alright, uh, here's the key. Control panel. Key. The next boss we fight is actually pretty formidable. It's... You got an upgraded shotgun, so you should be alright. Yeah, it's... it's Do you want to take your magnum with you, just in case? Nah, I shouldn't no. be. It's the, um... It's William Birkin, but he's got four arms. It's, it's William Birkin plus. <laughs> in some strategy guy, I've seen William Birkin is called a super tyrant or something like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh the super tyrant is that thing right at the end of the second scenario. That... Oh, that's called Mr. X, though. Oh, yeah, I suppose. My bad. You know, Mr. X is Mr. X, and they call William Birkin the Super Tyrant in the guy that I once read. I've never heard of it called that before. Take your word for it. For some bizarre reason, they decided a CG cutscene here. It's only a lift going down. Was it really necessary? Eight minutes thirty-six. Clunk. Ah! Oh! That that hurts. Just to look at. Well, she's unconscious for the time being, anyway. Mortally wounded and uh, ill. Right, you two, I'm gonna leave it there.